Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a Armando Simone Club pen for review. Now I have a number of these re uh, pens for review. Now this is a pen that is on loan to me. I have a number in my collection but this one is on loan from a friend and this one will be going back. So I think let's take a look at this pen. So if I lift this lid off of the box you'll see that there is another box here and if I do that you'll see here that this is quite a nice box I've shown you these boxes on some of my other ASC pens it's a magnetic closure box so if I lift the flap here and you will see here the pen and it says no compromise our pens are 100% handmade in Italy and we are proud of that and then you have the pen and this is floating in this little contraption here so this is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra and this is the Blue Luchens so first off I will remove the tray here and you have an Armando Simone Club warranty card now this was a Chatterley Luxuries and this pen was purchased originally in November 2019 and then iZods in the UK sold it in June 2020 so uh, this is a pre-owned pen and it has had I would say probably two owners you get this Armando Simone Club brochure and it talks on about ASC, the founder, and also various pens that are in that catalogue. You also get this little pen sleeve. You get a cleaning cloth as well, which is a Chatterley Luxuries cleaning cloth. You get a little tassel that normally goes on the clip. And then there's a, another Chatterley Luxuries card there if you want to send it on to another buyer so let me put all of this back in to the box and then we will look at the pen so if I remove the pen it's a magnetic clasp here and then you have this beautiful pen and this is the Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra and it's the blue luchens and this really is a lovely pen now you might think that i already have this pen in my collection and i kind of do but i kind of don't this is the blue luchens that i have in my collection and this is a molteni so this is the Bologna Extra here and this is the Molteni Modelo 55S. But you can see this material is very similar, although the Molteni has a royal blue uh, Omar celluloid on the cap instead. So let's take a look at this pen in a little bit more detail. You'll see here that it does have a very translucent material and you can see through a lot of that. So on the cap finial here you can see that there's a screw thread that goes in there that holds the clip into place you then have this lovely blue luchens material and you'll see here you can see actually a pneumatic uh, filling system here so this is just having a look here in terms of the cap here you are looking at a sort of pointed dome here you then have a small roller clip the cap tapers into the end of the cap finial and it tapers out a lot to what is a ring and then a center band and then another ring and then at the end of the cap it steps down to the body and then 
tapers down slightly to this ring and then you have what is the pneumatic filling knob and this basically is i'll show you the pneumatic filler in a little bit but if i unscrew the cap you'll see here it comes with an asc magic flex nib and you'll see there the feed as well and then the section so the section does taper down a bit and then flutes out towards the end you have some threads here that are a little bit more pronounced but they are not sharp then you have this silver band and then you have a little bit of a step down here from the body now in terms of me holding it in my hand it's a really good size i do like these bologna extras uh, this is a really nice size for my hand I do find though that the actual section itself is very very narrow or very thin shorts here and then you have a little step and then the threads and I tend to find that I am holding these more around the threads and there is a bit of a step down so I do feel those threads more but for me i'd like this pen i like uh the the nib on here and it's a ruthenium plated gold 18 karat gold nib there now can you post these caps you can't really the uh metal ring here actually stops you from posting it this is celluloid celluloid so i wouldn't want to try and post this too often i don't want to force it and it's also not my pen as well now the pneumatic filling system you unscrew this here and then you pull it out and you'll see here this pneumatic filling system and what you do is you put your finger over that hole there. there's a little hole pinprick hole in the center of that piston knob you hold your finger over it. i'm not going to do that now and then you push it down and then you let your finger go and then that creates a suction or a vacuum and then the ink will sort of flow up into what is a sack within the pen itself and there are a lot of threads here as well now you can see the mechanism here the pneumatic filler you can see the threads here that would normally be sort of obscured by a sort of solid material and likewise on that cap as well you can see a lot of threads there so uh, that is one of the downsides in terms of the luchens material you can actually see some of the inner workings of the pen but i actually like that to be honest i've got a black and gold luchens and i can show you that now here's my black and gold luchens versus the blue luchens and i do like the black and gold if i bring these up to the camera a little bit more you'll be able to see them there but this is a beautiful material i kind of like the black and gold a little bit more than the blue to be honest uh i do think it it, it sort of stands out a little bit more but I do like the blue, and to be honest, I did actually want one of these in the blue Luchens, but I decided I would get a Molteni Modelo 55S, and I picked that up uh, for a really good price, and uh, I decided I wasn't going to get an ASC Bologna Extra in the blue Luchens, which is the Chatterley Luxuries Edition. Now, in terms of the number here, it is number 16 of 30 so you can probably just see that there 16 of 30 so that is quite a limited edition there uh, for the Chatterley Luxuries version of this pen so I think in so I think what we'll do now is we'll do a size check we'll do a weight check we'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample so the length of the pen we are looking at 160 millimeters in length the length of the cap we are looking at 72 millimeters in length 
and then we'll measure if it doesn't want to roll. There you go. If we measure to the tip of the tines, we are looking at about about 150, 149, 150 millimeters. So that is quite a long pen. I think with that we'll do a weight check. So the full weight of the pen, uninked, we are looking at just under 58 grams. So this is a heavy pen. And this is why I like these ASC Bolognas. They are very, very heavy pens. The weight of the cap is just under 12 grams. And then the weight of the pen, uninked, we are looking at just over 37 and a half grams. So that is quite a weighty pen. So I think with that, let's go and do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have our Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Positano Blue. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Blue Hawaii. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Mediterraneo. We have an Atelier Luso Andromeda in the King Cobra. An Atelier Luso Andromeda in the Dragon. We have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Blue Luchance. We have an Armando Simone Club Extra Black and Gold Luchance. We have a John Twist Volcano, a Pelican M800 Royal Gold Varden, and we have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Grande in the sand. So let's go and do a writing sample. This is the, I'm going to abbreviate this, ASC Bologna Extra, and it's the Blue Luchance, and it's the Chastity Luxuries, but I'm not going to put it in there because it's going to be a bit too long. And this is basically a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here today is Waterman. And it is Florida or Serenity Blue. And the reason why I say it's or is that Waterman used to call this Florida Blue and now they changed it and called it Serenity Blue. It's the same uh, ink, the same form and the same colour. Now, in terms of line variation, you are getting what is a Western medium. Now, you can coax these nibs to write a little bit more wider if you want to. And honestly, you get more of a broad line. Now, if you have a look at these lines here, you'll see there's no hard starts or skips whatsoever. So this nib is writing quite well. Now, if I do an ink test you will see why I tend to like these ASC Bolognas because these are fire hose nibs and what do I mean by fire hose so this is an A4 page that in terms of width and I can smear the ink more than half of that page normally an ink will smear to about here. A very wet pen will the ink will smear to about here, and then a fire hose will smear from about midpoint to the rest of the page. So this is a super wet fire hose of a nib. Now I like that in pens and I like that when I'm writing with them. The reason why I like that is that quite simply when you have a lot of ink being put down onto the page the nib glides more better so you get less feedback the downside with that is is that it, this ink will take a long time to dry so if you're writing in a notebook you will have some problems turning the page unless you use ink blotting paper so what do i like and what do i not like about this pen well simply i love the blue luchance 
I love the ASC Bologna extras. I really do like the size. I like the weight. I like the pen, and I love this Omar's Blue Luchens material. I guess what I don't like about the pen, and, and this is with all of my ASC Bolognas, is that they come with basically latex sacks as a filling mechanism with the pneumatic filler. And I have had a couple of those where the latex sacks have perished, and I've had to get those replaced, and it's unfortunately something that will happen so when you do buy these it's not like a cartridge converter or a piston where they will probably last a lot longer uh, the latex sack should last around about 10 years normally I have found that they have lasted a couple of years so that's one thing that I don't like about the ASC Bologna sacks other than that I love the pen and I would much prefer this really to be a piston mechanism. Uh, I know that that would actually uh, reduce the ink capacity quite a lot, but I think from a serviceable point of view, when you're owning a pen, in theory, it's probably going to last longer. So this is my review of the Armando Ceremony Club Bologna Extra Blue Luchens, which is a Chatterley Luxuries exclusive. Long sold out, unfortunately. Only 30 pens in that limited edition run. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.